Have you ever pondered how our daily social interactions shape the way we think, learn, and grow? This question might seem abstract, but it's at the core of our understanding of human cognition. Cognitive development, as it turns out, isn't a solitary journey. Rather, it's a voyage we undertake within the framework of our social environment. Every conversation, every shared experience, every exchange of ideas, they all contribute to how we perceive and interpret the world around us. This understanding is grounded in the concept that our intellectual growth is fundamentally linked to our social interactions. This idea is not just a random thought, but a well-established theory in psychology known as Vygotsky's sociocultural theory. A. Vygotsky's sociocultural theory, a groundbreaking idea, posits that social interaction plays a pivotal role in cognitive development. At the heart of this theory are two key concepts, the more knowledgeable other, or MKO, and the zone of proximal development, often referred to as ZPD. The more knowledgeable other, as the name suggests, refers to someone who possesses a higher level of understanding or a greater skill set than the learner. This doesn't necessarily mean a teacher or an adult, it could be a peer, a sibling, or even a digital resource. The key is that this other is capable of imparting knowledge or skills that the learner doesn't yet possess. The zone of proximal development, on the other hand, is a metaphorical space. It's the gap between what a learner can achieve independently and what they can accomplish with the guidance or collaboration of a more knowledgeable other. It's in this zone that the magic of learning truly happens. As learners navigate through their ZPD, they stretch their abilities, learn new skills, and gradually become more independent. In essence, Vygotsky's theory underscores the significance of social and cultural interactions in shaping our cognitive development. So, why does Vygotsky's sociocultural theory matter in today's world? Well, let's take a moment to reflect on the relevance of this theory to our current society, especially in the realm of education. The sociocultural theory places emphasis on the social and cultural influences on a child's learning process. It allows us to understand that learning is not a solitary endeavor, but a collaborative process that is deeply intertwined with the environment and culture. Educators armed with this perspective can be better equipped to design learning environments that don't just focus on individual abilities, but also on the social and cultural contexts of their students. This can encourage a more inclusive and effective learning experience. By acknowledging the significance of these social and cultural factors, we can foster a more comprehensive understanding of cognitive development. Indeed, Vygotsky's sociocultural theory offers a powerful lens through which we can understand and enhance the process of learning and cognitive development.